So you've got your five number summary, you know the values that can describe a set of data numerically, now you wanna look at it graphically. In this video, we're gonna take care of that using what's called a box plot. What's up y'all, I'm Tom and this is Like a Math Class. As mentioned, we're gonna be looking at how to, to graphically display a set of data using five key values. The minimum value, quartile one, median, quartile three, and the maximum value. Let's get to it. So a box and whisker plot is a visual representation of univariate data, which means one variable data, and that uses a five number summary as its key indicators. In, the, in a previous video, we discussed what these five numbers were, and they are the minimum quartile one, median quartile three, and maximum. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with those five numbers, make sure you check out the video about the five number summary linked in the description below. So we have our minimum, we have our quartile one, which falls in between these two values. We have our median, which is also called our quartile two. We've got our quartile three, and then finally we have our maximum value. So what we're going to do is we're just going to simply plot these five numbers on a number line. Now I've conveniently have a number line uh, already organized for us here. It's going up by twos, so I put little tick marks in here for twos, so we can get a rough feel for what this is. If you were doing this, I would expect you to draw a straight line, uh, chop it up into equal parts, kind of think about the distribution of your data, maybe look at the lowest value and the highest value that you have, and, and then uh, mark the, the scale accordingly. So I'm going to take these, and now of course you're not always going to use multiple colors, but I'm going to just use multiple colors so that way we can see where these different values fall. So there's my minimum and my maximum. This is 144 and this is 181. So I'm going to mark those out first. Then I'm going to take my median value and I'm going to mark that on my uh, number line. So 168 is right here. And then I'm going to, and that's 168 or our median. Then I'm going to take these quartiles. Now these are not specific values in our data set, but that is okay. And this one we know is 159. So 159 is about right here and that's 159 and 174.5 is going to be let's see that's 172 174 will be right here so just to the left or just, sorry just to the right of this value right here and that's going to be 174.5 so great we've got these five numbers listed out here now we're going to make the box and the box is just boxing off those center bits maybe kind of extend our lines here to make this look like a nice clean box. And then our whiskers are the values that get extended out to the minimum and the maximum. This thing here is your box and whisker plot, your box and your whiskers. Now, what this tells you about your, about your data is it tells you how the values are distributed. We know that each chunk is 25% of our data. So what this tells us is in the first quartile, in the first 25% of our data, we've got a spread going from 144 to 159. In the second 25% of our data, we've got a spread from, 160, uh, from 159 to 168. And then of course, the, the, the third 25% uh, of our data goes from 168 to 174.5. And then the last 25% goes from 174.5 to 181. So what does this tell us about our data? It tells us that the, this 25% is spread out over a wider area. So if, even though each one of these things contains only four values, the, the spread of the value, the range of the data between these two uh, in this quartile, it's gonna be almost double than what is over here. And uh, similarly, this distribution is a little bit smaller than this. Now, 
we can say this is our center 50% of our data, which is what we often talk about is the, the middle 50%, because these things, the middle 50% is not gonna be impacted by outliers. And outliers are, are numbers that fall outside the general trend of your data. So um, in another video, we'll look at how do we find possible outliers of our set of data. But as we're looking at this right here, we just have our center 50% or each of our different quarters. And this tells us that our data is skewed a little bit to the left because we've got the tail going out to the left. It's getting stretched out to the left. And our skewed data, all the skew always goes towards the tail. So there is a visual representation of our univariate set of data or our one variable set of data using the five number summary. I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure you give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you in the next video.